install Microsoft 365 on Windows 11, open your browser and go to account.microsoft.com. Hit enter and then choose sign in in the upper right hand corner. Now it already knows my username here. You may have to type yours in and enter your password. You can choose to stay signed in or not. And once your account comes up, you should have your Microsoft sub subscription listed. Click on view all subscriptions. And you'll see an area where it says install desktop versions of Microsoft 365 apps like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint to your device. Click on that option. And then you can choose your language and the version. They've got 32 and 64 bit versions. I believe that 64 bit is the default. That might change depending on the setup of your computer, of course. Just leave it on default for most instance instances and click on install. You'll see that the office setup file is downloaded. You'll need to open and run that file. I'm going to click here. I'm going to say yes to allow this app to make changes to my device. And while the install is going, you can close your browser so that it doesn't distract from the actual progress of the installation. You'll see that the thin line here shows the progress of the download. We'll fast forward to the end of that for this video. Now we have our you are all set notification. We can close that. We're also getting prompts in the lower right that tells us that installation is finished. So what we can now do is click on the start button, click on all, you can click on any letter here, and then go down to W for Word. And open Microsoft Word. We'll get our welcome to Word prompt here. We'll click on continue. It's going to ask for a password, I'm sure here. Oh, wants the full username. Now the password. And generally, I just want to say Microsoft Apps only here. Click on that link. Otherwise, it's going to make you log in with your Microsoft account every time you open your computer. Going to accept the license agreement. And now if we go to the bottom left and click on account, we should see the user information, subscription info, everything looks good. One thing you might want to check, first run, click on update options and update now. And we do have some updates, even though it's a fresh install from Microsoft, they're not giving you the very latest version. Once the download starts, close Word and let the update complete. You'll receive a notification that it's done as it finishes. Now we're applying the updates and our updates are now fully installed. Once we see this message, we can close that. Let's go back in and let's search for Word. We'll right click and say pin to taskbar. It shows up down here. And then we can quickly search for Excel. Right click, pin to taskbar. And the other one I would typically use all the time, the Outlook. 
that's Outlook Classic that you want here. Outlook App is something else entirely. In fact, let's uninstall that if you're not using it, of course, to avoid confusion because they're both called Outlook. And we'll right click and pin to taskbar Outlook Classic, which is actually the Outlook 365 with the full feature set. Okay, now we can reopen Word. Check our account. Everything looks good. Microsoft 365 is now fully installed.